difference maker for Michigan. No Xavier Simpson this year. Mike Smith came in as a grad transfer from Columbia. Has been really good. What a cut from Livers. Here's Mike Smith for three. A little too strong. So the Badgers would like to get on the board, and that's the man to do it. He's been terrific his whole career, but he's really upped his level. And you let him get to that spot, it's automatic. Indiana did late, and he tied it up with about 10 seconds left. Michael Potter, two big men on the floor for the Badgers. Trice pull up, knocks down another jumper. Get on top of Trice on the wing. When he comes up to just off the top of the key, Dave, he's automatic. I mean, he just doesn't miss. Look at this. Right to the basket. Brooks. Money around the basket. Both hands. Shooting better than 70%. How about Wagner stealing the ball away? All the way to lay it in. Way. Michigan, good hustle. That's Brooks on the floor to grab the ball. Boy, Brooks is terrific at that type thing. Quick release. Livers for three. Shot. The pass was in the shooting pocket. He lifted it about as easy as it could be lifted up. There's Potter to try to answer. He does. These teams are chucking it up. Wall had his shot rejected by Dickinson. Another block for Michigan. Wagner right down the lane to lay it in. Bunch of shots early in this game at the rim and almost all of them uncontested for Michigan so far. Potter goes to work against the freshman. That was pretty good defense. Potter scored anyway. Great defense. The ball went in, went out, repost. Potter did not give ground. Force Dickinson uncomfortable about five more feet. Trice never shifted to the right hand. Just one-handed all the way scooped it in. It'll be one playing out of the post. Down low. Good news for Michigan fans. Austin Davis is in the game. He's been banged up lately with a foot prop. Shoulder, and when you go into the defender, he can't make his best jump. Well, they left Tyler Wall wide open. Play. Tie game. What a great start to this one. Both teams look in the part of top ten squads. Here's a three. Sean D. Brown hits it. One Coach. night. Horrible <laughs> night. <laughs> Micah Potter. Man, he has come to play tonight. Or they won't score. Shot clock winded down. Here is Wagner. A high arcing three. Jeff, if he can use his quickness, but Davis stayed in front of him. Now Davis' son against the big man with the foul. He'll get to the free throw line. Chance for a three-point play. Dickinson back in. Wisconsin's done a real good job against him so far. Yeah, and Jawan Howard took him out because he was really struggling. Corner three, Brandon Johns hits the jumper. Playing right now, not how you would necessarily rank him based on the full no. body of work. Yeah, 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 yeah. We go no, through this just, every year on Super Tuesday. Yeah. Price is going to go all the way, same kind of move. Maybe got shoved, Reavers, nice oh. move by Nate Reavers. Just a sophomore, Tyler Wall, 6'9". Does a lot of little things for Wisconsin. Dickinson to catch and the score for his first bucket. Great work with Dickinson early in his career. Yes, he has, and, and credit Dickinson with listening. You know what I mean? I mean, so many guys come in, they know everything. Dickinson just listens, and co-host of the World's Greatest Podcast, which, by the way, oh, look at this. Look at Wagner. Steal and dunk. Play the Badgers on. I mean, there we go again. That's another one. Mike Smith is going to lay it in. Face to hip on a ball screen, not face to shoulder. Wagner, my goodness, just a blow by on the baseline. Dan, this is the biggest deficit of the year for Wisconsin. Good crossover, and Smith hits the three. Wow. It's a second half of our Sonic Blockbuster from Ann Arbor. Can the Badgers get back in this game? Aline Ford will have a chance for a three point play. Smith, little shot fake, he went right by Aleem Ford. He scored some buckets in the Ivy League. Can he do it in the Big Ten? He's proving that he can. Yeah, there's players everywhere. That's Brooks for three. I'm either playing my best or I'm disciplining somebody for this performance. Potter back in, he's got the three fouls and he couldn't be as physical. Maybe. One dribble with the left hand. So smooth. Two run. For Michigan, bridging the end of the first half, the start of this second half. Smith tried to add to it. He does another three. Where I live. 
got the whole NCAA tournament. And one thing that we've been told is, you know, we hope we get there. You know what I mean? We hope we get there. Look at this. I was going to say the same thing. Davis made a great cut, right? Had space. Defense came quick. Back cut here. Speaking of the cut and the pass from Smith to Wagner. But this is a really good team that's going to have an excellent year. It's If you coach long enough, it just happens to you. Hard screen to hoops to get better. Dave, when Skeeps isn't open here in Ann Arbor, I don't know what you players. I, I go back to when I played in the 80s, man. You're just, everything else goes away when you're on the court. You're with your team. Nightmare game. Down the lane, and Davis finishes with the dunk off the dish from Smith. I see this is the best league in college basketball, and frankly, I don't even see it that close. Look at this. Now, Lope Brown just cleared out his play by Aline Ford, but is, is astonishing. Conference. It really is. Well, I saw Gonzaga just a few days ago, and they destroyed BYU. BYU is a pretty good team. Michael Potter for three. Players in Western Michigan history, been an assistant under B-line, understands offense, understands guarding, a great staff. And they have the runner, the kid up top on the right-hand side, second row, played at Michigan, terrific player out of Gary, Indiana. There next to Juwan Hahn. Great staff. I've always said, Dave, yeah. I, I, I've always in the country because most of these guys were assistants or played under great basketball coaches. A lot of continuity. Maybe I just I love remembering some of those great players. Dion was oh. that. There was a kid named Carter at Ohio State who was nice. They were Juwan Howard. I sent Coach Knight to go see Juwan Howard at CBS High School. Steal and wow, wow. even that a fast break layup. You can't take that for granted tonight. That's how good the Michigan defense has been. Ten team to win an NCAA championship. I mean, I mean I, to me, that as somebody who's followed this league closely, that seems impossible, but it's true. Last time Wisconsin lost by 30 or more in the NCAA tournament against the eventual national champion. That was Juan Dixon's Maryland turf. Videos of him, you know, all kind of different stuff. Yeah, not good. I mean, a lot of good ones these last many years, Dan, but tonight was something else. Dave, right from the get-go, Curl and Livers dunked on everybody. It was fantastic effort by Michigan on both ends of the floor. Two really good coaches. Juwan got the better of it today. On to the next. How about the first team in the history of college basketball to win three consecutive games against ranked opponents by 19 or more? That had never happened until now.